<laughs> Gigabox! Hi, I'm Sunny. Thanks for watching this video. You can help support our channel by hitting that subscribe button. You can also visit our website, gigglebox.tv, to stay up to date with all our videos and cool merchandise. Enjoy the video. Bye. This is the story of the ugly duckling. Once upon a time, on a lovely summer's day, a mama duck sat upon her nest. Inside her nest were six eggs, almost ready to hatch. She heard a creak, and a crick, and a crack. Come quick, my eggs are ready to hatch. Mama duck said to the other ducks. The other ducks gathered around as the eggs cracked open one by one and out peeked five little yellow fuzzy heads. They chirped and they cheeped and they chittered. Oh my, said one of the ducks. What adorable little ducklings. But Mama Duck was worried. She had six eggs in her nest, but only five had hatched. Maybe this one's not ready yet, said an old duck. And then, crack, the sixth egg split open. Oh my, said Mama Duck. The sixth little duckling was not little and not at all yellow. In fact, he was quite large and grey and his beak was black. Why is he grey? Quacked one of the other ducks. And why is his beak black? Asked another duck. What an ugly duckling. Snorted a pig. Don't be rude. Shouted Mama Duck. He's not ugly. He is special. Mama Duck insisted. She did not care that the sixth little duckling looked different. She was very proud of all her ducklings, yellow or grey. The next day, Mama Duck took all six of her ducklings to the pond. The five cute yellow ducklings swam and played, but the ugly duckling did not feel like swimming or playing. Mama? He asked. Why am I grey instead of yellow like the others? Mama Duck smiled at her duckling and said, Because you are special. But why is my beak black? The little duckling asked. Because it makes you unique. Mama Duck replied. But the ugly duckling did not understand. And the more he looked at his small, cute, yellow brothers and sisters, the more he felt ugly and alone. I would be better off by myself, he thought. So when Mama Duck was not looking, the ugly duckling swam across the pond and waddled over to the field, leaving his family far behind. There must be other ducklings like me, the ugly duckling decided. I will go and find them. He walked all night and into the morning, when the sun rose again, he came to a meadow. In it were some turkeys. Excuse me, said the ugly duckling politely. Have you seen any ducklings like me? No, said the turkeys. We've never seen any ducklings as grey as you. The ugly duckling kept waddling past the meadow until he came to a stream. Swimming in it were some geese. Pardon me, said the ugly duckling. Have you seen any ducklings like me? No, said the geese. We've never seen any ducklings as large as you. So the ugly duckling kept waddling past the stream until he came to a barn. Inside it were some chickens. Sorry to bother you, said the ugly duckling. Have you seen any ducklings like me? No, said the chickens. We've never seen any ducklings with a beak as black as yours. And so the ugly duckling kept waddling past the barn until he came to a tall tree. Perched on a branch was a wise old owl. Hello, said the ugly duckling. Have you seen any ducklings like me? No, hooted the owl. I've never seen any ducklings like you. This is hopeless, cried the ugly duckling. Mama Duck told me I was special and unique, but I'm just an ugly duckling. Hmm said the wise old owl. Perhaps Mama Duck was trying to tell you that it doesn't matter what's on the outside. True happiness is found on the inside. But the ugly duckling did not understand. He kept on waddling past the tall tree until he came to a lake, but there were no birds to talk to there. I can't find others like me, said the ugly duckling. 
I will stay here in this lake and hide in these weeds forever. The ugly duckling crawled into the tall green reeds where he could stay hidden for the rest of his life. Soon summer became fall and the leaves turned brown and red and gold. But still, the ugly duckling hid in the reeds of the lake. Winter came and snow fell, but still, the ugly duckling stayed hidden. He decided he would never show his face again. Then springtime came and the warm sunshine brought flowers and green grass. Still, the ugly duckling stayed hidden. Until one day, he heard a splash. He dared to peek out from his hiding place in the reeds. Right before him was a beautiful white bird with a long, graceful neck and a bright orange beak. It was a swan and it was the prettiest bird he had ever seen. Wow! said the ugly duckling to himself. I wish I was that beautiful. The swan heard his words and paddled towards him. The ugly duckling tried to back away into his reeds, but then the swan called out to him. Why are you hiding? The swan asked. Come, swim with me. The ugly duckling could not believe it. You don't think I'm ugly? He asked. <laughs> of course not, laughed the swan. You look just like me. The ugly duckling looked down and saw his reflection in the lake. He gasped. He had grown during the long months of fall and winter, and now he had beautiful white feathers a long graceful neck and a bright orange beak. He was not an ugly duckling at all. I'm a swan, said the ugly duckling happily as he came out from the reeds. As he swam around with his new swan friend, the ugly duckling heard a sound. Quack, quack, quack. A family of six ducks were swimming in the lake. It was Mama Duck and her five young duck children. My family, the ugly duckling said as he swam over to them happily. It's me, your ugly duckling. But I'm not a duck, I'm a beautiful swan. Mama Duck smiled. It's never mattered to us if you were yellow or grey, or a duck or a swan, she told him. What mattered was who you were on the inside. And finally, the ugly duckling understood. He had been unique and special all along. He just had to see it for himself.